I was just like kept thinking I made a huge mistake. Ho, ho, ho. It's not even 9 a.m. and it's such a beautiful day today that I felt inspired to go for a run. I only managed 3k because I don't even know how I ever managed 5k. And I walked deep for an hour. So I've basically closed my Apple Watch rings already. I need to go make breakfast now. I'm starving. Oh, it feels so good. My two minute wintry breakfast. Sweet banana and coconut porridge with a topping of chocolate granola. You want some hazelnut milk because this is way sweeter than almond milk. Oats. Desiccated coconut to make it really, really sweet. About half the amount of oats. And then one chopped banana and then just let it simmer tiny bit of cinnamon at the end and then i sprinkle with a bit of my favorite chocolate chip ellie's granola i just washed my hair i'm gonna go do it in a sec i had to put on makeup because i had a zoom call and i didn't plan my blow dry properly you know when you plan your hair wash i don't know if you're like me but i plan my hair wash like so specifically but I didn't think about this call and I had to put makeup on for the call because it was on Zoom. So I was like, okay, I need, to, I need to do my makeup and then wash my hair, which just messes up my whole cycle. <laughs> but it's okay, we're gonna get over it, people. We're gonna get over it. I'm, I'm over it and stuff. Gonna put on my Elsa in hole number one. I now have five holes in my ears, which is so fun because it means I can do so many things. This is the Elsa hoop without the charm on it because the charms are detachable and interchangeable. So I'm gonna put the Elsa hoop without the charm in my second hole so you can wear them just like that. Then I might do a little Amel. These are proving to be extremely popular and I'm quite worried because we did not factor in how popular these would be. I love doubling up on a Amel. Amel looks really good paired with a Amel. She's a single lady and she looks best when she's by herself. Can you see? Can you see? And then on my other ear, I'm going to do a double Elsa hoop, but without the charm. There we go. By the way, if you are looking to get some of our pieces, which are coming out so soon, they're coming out in a few days, then make sure to go to Raimi.com and sign up for early access. So on my fingers, I'm going to put Bashy, Haya, and Parry. And then I'm officially done, I think. I think I can call it. Oh, no, maybe not. No, 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 maybe not. Last but certainly not least, I'm going to put on Shireen. So I am wearing full double earring stack. Got Shireen on, got Soraya on, got Parry, Bashy, and Haya on, got two Layla's on, and now I'm officially ready for the day. It's not gonna get old putting on my own pieces. It's really not. So let's go dry my hair before it air dries and looks frizzy. Welcome to my office. You might have seen this a few times in Vlogmas before. I've got my pin board back behind me. This is where this little guy lives. My basket of hair goodness. And then I have a mirror, which is right next to a plug. And I love sitting on the floor. So this is my perfect hair setup because I sit all here in the mirror next to the mirror. And I probably have my laptop watching YouTube or something next to me. And I have my plugs right next to the mirror, which I planned out because I don't know how people don't have plugs next to mirrors. <laughs> Before we get going, thank you, huge, huge thank you to GHD for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm thrilled to be working with them because I've been using GHD products since I actually was 11. 11 was the first time that I ever tried a GHD hair straightener. Literally, my life was changed forever. I could say goodbye. To <laughs> that was on. <laughs> I could say goodbye to Frizzy unwanted hair i had said hello to waves and straight hair and my life was forever changed i'm so grateful to them and i always 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 end up coming back to ghd no matter how many different different products i try so i recently found out brown breaking news from the ghd team that leaving your hair to air dry is not good so apparently when the hair is wet the fiber will swell and become weaker and it's just not good for the hair at all. Once I did my own research, I was like, holy shiznits. And so many 
of you actually commented the same thing. So I never leave my hair to air dry anymore. This Helios that I'm gonna use today is just so fast and speedy. Also, this actually allows me 30% more shine than if I let my hair air dry. My hair is so much more shiny when they use the Helios. It's also really light to hold. It's not heavy at all. So I just used my heat protector spray all throughout my hair and let's get going. <laughs> The AeroPrecise technology allows for a really concentrated airflow. That hits the hair directly, which helps eliminate frizz and creates a really smooth finish, which you'll see in a minute. Also onto my hair, by the way, I use the Curl Hold Spray, which is great because I like doing kind of soft focus waves on my hair, which I'll show you today. I just finished half my hair. I normally separate my hair into sections while I blow dry it. It takes about three minutes to do each side. So let me move on to the other side now. Now that my hair is dry and looking super glossy, I'm going to be straightening my hair using the Platinum Plus straighteners. Now, did you know, because this really blew my mind when I heard this from GHD, that GHD sells four stylers globally every minute. I mean, holy moly, that's a lot of stylers. Right, so we turn this on, very easy. It heats up in seconds. It's so fabulous and fast. These are called smart straighteners. I had a big old Zoom session with GHD and I found it so fascinating, fascinating that I even wrote notes to share with you. This strainer is able to register how thick the sections of hair you take are so that it can adapt depending on how thick the section is and your actual hair type. I mean, wow. When I had that, I was like, oh my goodness, that is mind blowing. In these sensors in here, it's called the infinity sensors. It reads your hair up to 250 times a second. I mean, what on earth? Basically, whilst I'm there curling my hair, watching Netflix, trying to figure out the undoing, the undoing, the TV show, by the way, this little guy is just working its magic 250 times a second. For speed styling, there is no other straightener. Let me show you, let me just show you. So it works at an optimum temperature of 185 degrees to style your hair. Now what I do is I take sections. I go from my ears. My ear is the first section and I cut round a section at the back. So we've actually sectioned our section here. Now, for curls, everyone's been asking me how I'm curling my new shorter hair. Well, it's shorter for me. <laughs> we take a section. Now, as I just told you, you can take as thick or as little sections as you want. This is kind of on average what I take. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna clamp and we're going to drag this out and down if you hold the end it gives you precision and this will give you a nice long curl there we go that looks pretty good and basically i just repeat that throughout my whole hair at the end <laughs> well let's keep going then this is my favorite way to do my hair it just makes me feel super put together it's my favorite look it will last me days and days and days until i next have to wash my hair Curl number two. Sometimes I'll take these in separate directions so the curls don't go all in unison. So I'll probably do two curls going away from my face and then two going towards my face. I'll probably in each half of my head take three sections, the lower section, the mid section, and the upper section. If I hold the end, it gives it a much more precise curl. It's just easier for grip. That's that so far, looking super glassy. Here we have the before. And here we have the after. So what I like to do is I'll run my fingers through the curls and then I'll kind of bevel the ends so they look more kind of unison and less just random random strays places. That's just quick and easy to do. There we go. Now for the other side. Why I love curling my hair with a straightener is because I get really frizzy bits at the top of my hair so I'll sometimes straighten over them and then go for curling my hair so it's great for both really. I mean obviously it's great for straightening but I love the waves that it creates. Look at that in there. I mean it's literally oh it looks beautiful. It looks more beautiful when you kind of compare it to the straight hair doesn't it? 
when I go and get closer to my face I always make sure that these bits are going away from my face because it kind of just opens up the face more so I'll turn this round and I'll start higher as well so that we're bringing the curls and the waves up so this is my finished hair super glossy super shiny and love the waves if you want to create tighter waves by the way all you have to do is just bring the straightener tighter around the hair and if you want to create looser waves you bring it looser down the hair I will leave a link to the GHD products down below if you're thinking about something to ask for for Christmas I would really really recommend the Platinum Plus every time I do this with my hair I just fiddle with it and play with it for ages I'm so sorry I'm so sorry it just always looks so put together I hope you enjoyed this little segment of how I curled my hair wet to dry I'll leave GHD's um, Instagram and all the details down below if you want to go follow them as long as I've been alive I've always had a hair basket by the way I was sent this so kindly but I have a platinum plus that I love which is the one I just used which is this color so I might give this to my sister actually because I know she's really after one and um, this is just their limited edition Christmas Christmas wish upon a star and it's beautiful it's like an icy pearly white and blue so if you're looking for christmas presents as well i feel like this is a really really cool set because it comes in this gorgeous box but anyway i'm officially done rambling now tonight by the way oh you know what actually sorry before we get on to tonight there were two other things i wanted to tell you that i feel like are really helping my hair at the moment because i'm so focused on my hair after the traumatic <laughs> color experience that i had um i've been really putting my all into my hair and my hair care routine two other things that i've noticed are doing amazingly for my hair number one is i'm taking the js health hair and energy supplements that's detox and de bloat and this is collagen but i don't know where my oh maybe it's by my bed anyway i'm taking the hair and energy supplements um as well and i'm also sleeping on a silk pillowcase i have a lily silk pillowcase that i love and adore so much so i'm doing doing that too and i feel like everything combined has really made my hair look and feel amazing again because there was a time where oh back in summer i'll put in a picture of what my hair was like it was oh my goodness i'm i am gonna stay loyal to my hairdressers forever and ever and ever amen now anyway tonight i thought i'd tell you about what i'm up to i am doing a live zoom event which is why i wanted to do my hair all nice for rays of sunshine charity they are doing a blogger vlogger q a for some of their wish kids and it's girls 7 to 14 ages 7 to 14 um, and they've sent me through some of the questions um and so that some of the girls wanted to ask their questions before because they felt really nervous to ask them tonight so i'll be doing that on zoom in a few hours okay i just sat down ready to join the zoom event my mouth i just cut myself and it, i'm so gross but i can't stop bleeding so i'm a bit nervous now hopefully it stops soon and hopefully i can just be like this and the kids won't really notice on zoom but anyway i'm joining i also just realized i won't really be able to show you much of the event because a lot of the kids actually all of the kids i think are underage so i won't be able to show them on a vlog but maybe i'll be able to show you something <laughs> okay <laughs> this is so bad why does this stuff happen right before live events stop okay the bleeding has stopped it stopped one minute ago hello oh hi, hi. hello, hello. <laughs> we hi. have just We've just done a very short kind of intro to mm -hmm. you, but just Aww. want to say a huge thank you from us at Rays of Sunshine. So Ginny and Melissa, huge thank you Hi. for doing this. We've got a few kickoff questions. Oh, great. If you put a post out, do you ever get nervous about what the reaction may be for a post or... You, you know, because I think that's the biggest fear for everybody. Every single time. I, I'm, I'm telling you now, it doesn't go away. Yeah. I've been doing this for like seven years, and every single time yeah. I post something, I still get nervous. Oh my goodness. That was so sweet. Oh, all those girls are so gorgeous. So many of their mums joined as well, and that was just, that was beautiful. I got, I got a bit, got a bit emotional at the end. They were just asking such amazing questions. 
I'm so sorry, but my mouth hasn't stopped bleeding the entire time. So I feel like people kept thinking that I was taking dramatic pauses, but I was just, so, <laughs> I was just swallowing the blood. Oh God, that sounds horrific. I've got a bit shiny in here, haven't I? Right, it's time to go downstairs and go and make dinner. Ah, if anyone, oh God, that's pretty terrible. Oh, bloody terrible, get it. If anyone has any, oh, I just realized this isn't live. I was gonna ask you for tips. Jeez Louise. We need to stop. Ah! Mm -mm. Stop, stop, stop. Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs and make dinner now. Hopefully my mouth will stop bleeding so I can actually eat. Oh, hold on before I do. I'm going to leave a link to Rays of Sunshine down below. Um, it's a charity that I came across um, through my friend Liv last year and supported since then. It's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous charity. And um, I'm so sorry about my bleeding mouth. I really hope no one on that call saw that. It'd be quite embarrassing. Anyway, it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous charity and they do such amazing things for ill children and kids. This is when it gets to that time of day where Duke just hangs out by his bowl. Just wondering if anyone's gonna feed me anytime soon, anytime soon. He just had a bone. Look at his beard. If he looks up, look at his beard when he has a bone. It's all like manky and bitty from the bone. Oh no, monkey. What are we gonna have for dinner, monkey moose? What are we gonna have for dinner? Do you want chicken? Or some? Or chicken? It's the evening guys. My boobs are young, wild and free and majorly drooping, but I'm not wearing a bra because it's the evening. Do I need more of an explanation that I've worn a bra the whole day and I don't wanna wear a bra anymore? And I'm also wearing tracksuits, you know? It's just, it's just the end of the day. I don't know. I don't, if you are the kind of person that can keep their bra on the entire day, please comment down below because you, my friend, are a very, very rare species. Maybe people can reflect in the comments. Anyway, I'm just making me some dinner. I had a calling today and that calling was for a specific vegetable. I was just walking around the shops as one does and I was like, hold on a minute, I'm gonna do tahini chili charred veg with salmon. Ooh, maybe I should do sushi rice. Guys, I'm doing it with fries. I know it's not a combo that one would suggest, but if you ask me, fries go with everything. So, let's begin. We got all our veggies here. I'm gonna pour this little sauce. This is soy sauce, sesame oil, and tahini to start. And then bay. These are my favorite fries. You get them frozen, you put them in your oven or in your air fryer. If you don't have an air fryer and you like fries, please get one, it will change your life. I love my air fryer so much. So, let's do this. Might as well just finish the bag now, really. Sorry about the noise, guys. I've got the extractor fan on and the air fryer on, but this is what it's looking like, these gorgeously charred vegetables. I just keep watching over them and turning them around every couple minutes. Make sure they're getting charred on all sides. And dinner is served. I've got my veg, got my salmon, sprinkled a little bit of sauce on top, got my fries. Loving this ratio I've got going on. Oh my goodness, can you see the sky this morning? Wow. Let's go wake up to you. You were sleeping downstairs this morning. The bedroom's getting a bit hot for him with all the heating on. The little man was desperate to get outside today. He was waiting by the door for me. I'm not looking my best this morning. I'm really bit out, which I'll explain in a second. But I haven't actually taken my hair out or brushed it yet today. And look how good it still looks. Just put that in there. The secret is to sleep with it in a loose bun and then everything stays looking so nice i mean you can't see because of that but look once i brush it it will look really good as well but i was just in such a rush to get deep that i didn't even brush it i had a bit of a a moment last night i got into an internet rabbit hole of looking at the responses to other blogger brands putting myself in such a tiz and i just ended up with fear like literally running through my veins and my body and just sobbing myself to sleep. You know when you just get in a situation where you're like you work yourself up and way worse than like you actually should be? That was me last night and it was actually really scary. <sighs> 
but I think as a person starting a, a brand, it, it's a small business, you're starting a small business. When bloggers start a brand, people view it differently and their expectations are different. And I think that's, that's where my fear really comes from and that's why I didn't do this for so long, was because of the fear and the expectation around starting a brand. Everything has to be perfect like from the get-go and I already really struggle with perfectionism and I'm, I'm a recovering perfectionist as I like to say. Going in this internet rabbit hole just really didn't help me and I just went into such a place of fear and it's just it's, it's really scary putting, putting something out there. It's weird because blogging and vlogging and whatever you want to call it influencing was was never supposed to be my job or supposed to be like this it wasn't like you set out and you were like i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that it just like happened organically and at the time when i started like no one was even making any money from it so it wasn't even a consideration that this could be a job i think the fear from that was so much less because it just was something i was doing for fun whereas rainy is just so God, it's just so scary. It's so scary. God, it's already day three of one was not having a breakdown. For anyone that started their own brand or their own business, like, well done. It's, it ain't easy. <laughs> it ain't easy. I don't think going down this internet rabbit hole would help yesterday. I feel like the internet can be a very, it can be an amazing place and it can be a really neat place. And when it comes to blogger brands, people just rip them apart <laughs> they, they really do and i think i just got into such a place such a scared place last night where i just couldn't i was just like kept thinking i made a huge mistake i need to pull myself together <sighs> hopefully i haven't <laughs> hopefully i haven't made a huge mistake <sighs> okay right okay no, no, media. I need to get up. I need to walk my dog. I meant to just tell you why I look so puffy eyed and red faced today, and I don't think that fear has quite left my body today. So I'm gonna walk it out. I'm gonna walk it out and not let it control me. Puke! Pukey, <laughs> come on! We're gonna walk it out. We're not gonna let the fear control us. I'm gonna go into a dark place. I'm gonna go home, have my tea. Someone's calling me, who is it? My sister. Hello? Hey. Hi, wake up. Are you not on your walk? I am. <laughs> who are you talking to? I'm talking to <laughs> the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't walk with me, I've got to talk to someone. <laughs> Do you? We found monkey. Hi, monkey. Hannah just called me. We normally go on a walk together every single morning, and this morning she's going to work. But well, we go on a walk together every morning unless she goes to the office, which is about once a week. So she's going to the office today. So she called me to check up on me, which is sweet. I'm gonna now get home. I'm going to have a nice hot tea. I'm gonna pull myself together for the day. Try and look alive. <laughs> Just um, take it easy on me. Hope everything goes okay, it goes to plan. I'm gonna try and just block it out my head today and just <sighs> sigh it out. Nothing like a good sigh, you know? Ah, <sighs> oh, feels good. Comes, comes out from here. That like middle point between your boobs. Got the army training. I think that's what that is. Oh, I love horses. He literally is absolutely terrified of them. He's like, get me away right now. I'm gonna try to take it a bit easy with my breakfast routine. So I've got my eye masks on to try and de-puff and hydrate everything. These are Bare Minerals ones. And I've got my porridge here. I've just put like a big dollop of of cashew butter in there because cashew butter is just my favorite favorite butter <laughs> how do dogs know when you're down how like they'll just want to like stand on me and lick me they just know 
and put his butt on me. <laughs> they just know, don't they? Okay, breakfast is done. I'm gonna just do a nice fat skincare routine, you know? By the way, look how amazing. Still haven't brushed my hair, but this is like literally from the day before. It just looks so great still. So this is how I sleep with it in a bun. I literally do this, a loose, 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 loose bun to kind of try and keep the curls as much as I can. And then I have a little silk hair tie and I'll sleep with it like that. And because I sleep on my side, it kind of holds my hair. I'm gonna use my Luminae cleanser today, this cleansing balm. This is great when I'm not wearing makeup because it kind of stings my eyes. good skincare it's just the best then for serum Lancome Genifique one of the best serums on the market really I mean this suits all ages all skin types everything so I'm just gonna pat this into the skin so great for repairing I feel like my skin is so dry right now because I've just been crying so much if anyone else feels like that you know when you're just skin just feels like it needs some real TLC just like a real reboot this product is great then I'm going to use my Codely Reservatol Lift Moisturizer this is a great one new one that I've been loving it's very soothing doing your skincare isn't it lastly the eye cream to end all eye creams <laughs> Dior Capture Total this came out in January and I've been through two this year. That's how much I use of this eye cream. It's so fabulous. I'm feeling a little bit better now. I've just been journaling. This is my little my little journal. She's so cute. Still looking a bit rough. Apologies about that. Um, I was just editing the vlog <laughs> to upload. And I realised that I was in such a state this morning that I don't actually make any sense when I say anything. I'm so sorry. I was like, is anyone going to even know what i'm saying probably not basically what happened last night was i started looking up the responses online for blogger brands i'm not going to cry this time and explain it to you i swear and i just saw how quick people are to rip blogger brands to shreds like on day one of launch and i looked up a few different people's like responses to their brands by the media by haters the online world basically and i just freaked out because the more and more I read up and the more and more I saw different brands I feel like I just I didn't look at it before I think I feel like I was so either so excited for that person's brand or trying the products or not involved in like the hate or the drama or whatever that I didn't realize until I looked everything up last night and I was like oh my goodness every single blogger that's launched a brand has just been torn apart online. And I think that's what really set me off. And the, it was just a downward spiral. Like the more I Googled, the more I cried, the more I freaked out. The more I Googled, the more I cried, the more I freaked out. So anyway, I'm out the other side now. That's what's important. So done my journaling, I've edited the vlog. Um, oh, I've also been writing notes for our event on Monday. That got me excited because we're having a viewer Zoom event and 10 girls entered one and they will be getting a parcel on monday tomorrow with some little goodies from me in a note so i've written all my little notes these are our note cards and if anyone when they make an order want to write a note they can um get it on this note card so it says a note to say at the top and then ramy at ramy collection at ramy collection and then on the back it's this navy with ramy it's gorgeous eco paper it feels so incredible it's like really nice um anyway so I did that, that got me excited, thinking about nice, positive, happy things and like spending the evening on Zoom with 10 viewers is gonna be so cool. So I think it's time for me to do giveaway time now. So today's giveaway is my favorite because it's something I use pretty much every single day. I mean, you saw me use it the other night. It is an Acti Fry. Now, I can make not just fries in my Acti Fry. You can make vegetables, you can make chicken, you can make salmon, you can make granola. You can literally make anything you want in an Acti Fry in an air fryer. Oh, so fab. So to enter the giveaway, make sure you are following me on Instagram. Go and like my latest post, which is this one on the screen, and comment below on that post 
tagging two friends in the comments. The giveaway as always is open worldwide. You'll only be contacted by me, my one of my personal accounts, not any other account, if you win the giveaway. And I put all the giveaway winners in the info boxes of the videos as well. So thank you for bearing with me and my breakdown mode today. I mean, we're spending a lot of time together this month, so it was only natural I was going to have a breakdown really, wasn't it? <laughs> it's the end of the year coming up and it's, it's been a year. I mean, I don't need to tell you that. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday, wonderful start to your week, and I will see you on Tuesday with another vlog. Bye guys.